Hey, what's up? I use Windows, and that means I use Windows File Explorer. And, you know, I got nothing against Windows File Explorer, there's one problem with it. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, let's work on my totally successful indie game, Tank and Sands. Alright. There. Oh man, where did I put the one file? Was it in recipes? Ah, there we go. Oh, I also want to open the user save directory. App data. Tank. Tank and Sands. There we go, that took a while. Windows File Explorer feels kind of slow and sometimes even frustrating to use. I know that's not that big of a deal, but look how long it takes to search a file! So I decided to make my own file explorer. I've always been a fan of BIM, specifically its keybinds. It's fast, you don't need to reach for your mouse. Not that I have one. You want to delete a line? Two keys. Fast copy and pasting. Hate this paragraph, delete it! So, I took inspiration from it. Alright. Here's how it'll work. Like with Vim, my app will use the K and J keys to move up and down, lowercase and uppercase G to jump to the start and end of the file list. I also want to be able to jump to a file by searching with slash. So far, nothing too exciting. Kinda just weird if you're not used to Vim keybinds, but don't worry, I'll add mouse support. Next, I want to be able to quickly search for files and folders from my working directory. And while we're at it, add a favorites list. Everything will be hotkeys, because meandering with the mouse is too slow. So I opened up a new Gato project and got to work. Gato? 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 And after a week or so, I was done with the basic features. Now I can finally use it. Oh, that's, oh, that's disappointing. Turns out by using a game engine, I made it slow to boot up and twice as RAM hungry. Now, the reason for that is because when you export an app using a game engine, it exports pretty much all of the engine's features even if you're not going to use them all. In a normal game, that will be fine, but in this scenario, it's like trying to shave using a lawnmower. So there's two things I could do. One, suck it up buttercup. Two, try and find ways to minimize this blow. Ooh, what's that? Oh, my bad. Hey! So I decided, fuck it, I'll remake it in Rust. I really like the terminal look that NeoVim has. So I use a library called Console Engine, which allows you to draw stuff on the terminal. No complicated game engine bullshit with their transform matrices and scene rendering, just a terminal with text. And yeah, I kept working on the Rust version afterwards. I added the ability to ignore certain file extensions when searching and and it also doesn't waste time searching in folders that suck with dot, like dot git. Then I added the most important feature of all, a customizable color theme. Whoa! Oh. oh yeah, shoot, I should probably give it a name. Uh, okay, File Explorer, okay, okay files. <laughs> yep. So, why should you use K-Files over Windows File Explorer? <laughs> you shouldn't. It's missing basic features you'd expect from a proper file explorer like creating, renaming, and deleting files. At this point, it's basically just a navigation tool but it looks better, and it's faster, and it's lightweight, and open source so you can look at my unoptimized garbage code and add features that you want. Hey, does it, does it work on other platforms? Uh, I'm not sure, there shouldn't be any Windows specific stuff, I haven't tried. Anyways, you can get it on my itch.io page, link in the description. Bye! This paragraph, delete it! 
It's got macros, markers, regex searching. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs>